I'm Kasha what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kasha Wasik and this is Social Geek! Woo! <laughs> What are you up to today? <laughs> Just resting, getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is my big day, so just excited and you know I have a few hours that I can just do nothing and enjoy my time. How big of a confidence builder was Berlin? Uh, pretty big. Uh, it's always nice to start the season with uh, almost the best time. I was to 100 off. So it gave me a lot of confidence that my training is uh, going well. Um, and yeah, yeah, just hope, I hope it's just the beginning. Do you like that schedule where you get to race the first day and then just um, survive. still race, but like <laughs> yeah, survive the rest of the meet, but no pressure? Uh, yes, I do, because I'm a pure sprinter and I, 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 I like to feel fresh. Um, so I feel like it's good for me to have that 50 day one and then just kind of like mentally have fun uh, with the meet and hang out with friends. What is day before, like what are you up to the day before big race at a World Cup meet? In season but still a big race, there's a lot of big time summers here. Yeah. It's, it's funny because it's my first World Cup, um, I mean Berlin was my first World Cup ever in my career. So I didn't really know what to expect from the meet. I mean, people were saying it's really similar to ISL. I've done ISL, so um, yeah, I just I just chill, rest, you know, get ready. Obviously, we are in the season, so we're a little bit tired. We came in here not like totally fresh, so it was good to get to hotel, you know, take a bath and just relax. <laughs> Do you do anything like Epsom salt or ice bath, or is it just uh, relax? Just relax, just <laughs> sleep, relax, uh, just be with friends because we we didn't see each other for such a long time, so it's just nice to like go down, have a dinner with with all the swimmers and catch up. Like what are they up to, basically? Who are some of the people that it, that you closely connect with in the swimming community? Who are some of the athletes that you've seen here that you're just so pumped uh, to see? A lot of swimmers, definitely. Like I'm always good to like connect with the Polish swimmers that yeah, were able to come to Berlin and are able to come to Toronto, Indy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm with Beryl all the time, just to do. <laughs> she cracked me up, so <laughs> she definitely keeps me. Um, uh, like keeps the energy high, definitely. So uh, it's, we just saw Beryl taking off to go to the pool. <laughs> she, she went to get a Thai massage this morning. It was really interesting. Uh, you should ask her about that. Uh, but yeah, she's she's a good energy. I really like her. You do, do you borrow any tricks like that from any of your competitors? <laughs> like a Thai massage? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, but it's fun, it's just fun, you know, everyone is um, always like, we, we all have a story, you know, we all experience something in our life and then we come together and we can just laugh, you know, it's, it's fun to share different experience and, and yeah, like, some, some, like, sometimes we can learn something, uh, it's, it's not just funny, uh, but we can take something from, from other swimmers. Yeah, so when you sit down at the dinner table here or, you know, maybe you are at the pool in the same session, are you are you trying to pick the brains of, of other athletes? Even if they don't swim your events, are there people like in, in other other races that kind of like, hey, what makes you successful? It's it's always, I, I, I like to have a conversation with like all elite athletes and then um, Usually, usually I'm like impressed that they're just humans, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I've been always, I don't know, I think it comes from like young age, I always, um, I, I didn't think I can get to that level. Um, I didn't believe that I'm as talented or, or just mentally ready. And when, right now, I still can't believe like when I, one World Cup in Berlin, I was like, oh wow, nice, you know. Uh, 
but for me it's amazing we're just people you know we have we, we all have feelings um, and uh, yeah we all train hard and, and train for that success um, it's no one is here without a reason everyone that done their work and uh, and worked really hard yeah so uh, you race tomorrow big day what time will you go to the pool what do you what does warm-up look like uh, what time I go to the pool usually like two hours before my race uh, that's a good time that gives me uh, Time to stretch, uh, relax, just listen to music, and then get get in um, like an hour before my race to the warm up um, to the pool and, and do my warm up in the pool. Uh, it's not long, you know. I, I don't need much for 50, but uh, it has to be specific. You know, you have to wake up. You have to be 100% ready. Even like in Berlin, we started prelims at 8:30. So it was really early, um, so it was really important to to not be like sleepy, but ready, um, <laughs> ready to go. Um, but yeah, usually it's like two hours before and just do my routine, do stretches. I, I still have to do uh, shoulder rehab, so that takes me some time. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's the same, always the same. What do you do during the day? Are you a napper? Are you a Netflixer? What do you do? I'm a napper. Definitely a napper. I, I love sleeping. Uh, so, yeah, I try to, if I can, obviously, like, I, I try to take a small nap. Or, um, oh yeah, like, I started watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, I know I'm, like, behind 10 years <laughs> or even more, but it keeps me occupied. What are you trying to get out of this meet in particular? Like you're just on your best time in Berlin. Uh, are you going to Worlds? Yes. And, okay. So what what will you your takeaway from this meet? Um, what what does success look like? I think I I, I definitely try to focus on details and, and I don't really care about time. Um, but I want to have a good technical race. We worked a lot on, on changing my technique a little bit to be more powerful, um, and, and I want to achieve it here. Every time I get to race, I learn something new about myself, and 50 is just, it happens so fast, and every tiny mistake costs you like hundreds of seconds. Um, and I feel, I think, Berlin race wasn't perfect. I was happy with time, but not really happy with the way I swam in. So, yeah, just, I want to be better. What do you mean? What would you change? And also, how are you making your stroke more powerful? I work on it every day. <laughs> so, it doesn't happen overnight. Like what? What are you working on? We work so much on technique and like how to catch water, like how to have a powerful stroke. We did a lot of uh, drills, like, that uh, would make my stroke more powerful. And uh, I feel like I would, I, I saw the improvement in Berlin. I was definitely taking less strokes per 25 and that, would, that was making me really happy because that's the good indicator that words in Australia are gonna be, when I rest, for the rest, it's gonna be really good. Um, but yeah, like dive, you know, breakouts, that's, that's the part like, Without racing, we can't really practice that. So last year I was racing so much at ISL that like I would step on the block and I just knew what to do. This year it's like, okay, I have to remind myself. Okay, dive, break out, turn, <laughs> finish. And everything has to be perfect. So I, I just want to race more and more to get that feeling. So in December it's going to be just, I can do it with my eyes closed. Yeah. Having gone through the ISL experience and now having raced one World Cup, how does the World Cup experience compare to an ISL meet? It's different. It's different because you don't have a team. Um, obviously, like uh, in Berlin, uh, Poland sent the federation, so we had we had a small team there, but 
it's not the same. It's not all about. It's not about scoring points, and it's more in individual efforts. Everyone scores the points, but it's more like for themselves. Um, so yeah, it, it reminds me of just a meet, you know, like normal meet uh, that you you gotta swim fast, but I just said it was all about the team effort. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. We'll yeah. end it right there. <laughs>